everyone, welcome to tonight's recap of Big Brother 13. Alright, last time Pretty Boy Dominic went home and the HOH competition was still in progress. Because it was endurance. Yeah, well Danny knew that she had to win because pretty much everybody in the house hates her She's ass all, face. I really have to win this week. <laughs> yeah. And then Kalia was like, yeah, I really need to win too because I'm like public enemy number one, number two. <laughs> Try number last. Nobody, Nobody cares. cares about you. You're a loser. What is Ugh. she's so delusional? It was like pissing me off. She's such a potato on toothpicks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Adam was the first to jump off. Yeah. Um, he didn't even make it ten minutes. He just couldn't do it. That's really sad. And the snowball that he picked said that he had to wear an elf suit for a week. Yes. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. Next one was next. Have not. Brendan was next, and he is also a have not. So Jeff had a one out of two shot of winning the $10,000, so he took it. I can't say I blame him. I probably would have done the same thing. I mean, he knew he wasn't going to win this. Right. Then Jordan... Well, she... he got the $10,000. Well, yeah, Let's what... say that. Okay. <laughs> I thought I did. No. Maybe I did inside my own mind. All right. And then Jordan fell off, so she was a have-not. So then Portia fell off, and it was down There's to... no more snowballs. It was down to Shelly, Kalia, and Danielle. And then Kalia is so pissed because everyone's cheering for Shelly and not her and Danielle. She's like confronting Shelly. Uh, are you with the veterans or what? <laughs> are you public enemy number three? <laughs> All right. So Danielle was so freaking obnoxious during All the rest of, of the competition. All her freaking comments. Is so she annoying. two years old or what? Yeah. Does she not realize that next week is a brand new week where she doesn't have any safety at all? Yep. Grow up, old lady. So, <laughs> right. Shelly fell after an hour and 26 minutes, which means it came down to Kalia and Danielle. That's pretty Public enemies number one and two. <laughs> then Kalia jumped off because her fat wasn't protecting her from falling off the wall anymore. So That's the only reason she was up there so long. Potato on two things. All right, so Kalia says she's got nothing against Rachel. No hard feelings. And Rachel freaking freaks the hell out. What is uh, wrong with her? I did not get that at all. I don't know. She's upset because Brendan didn't win. On the inside, <laughs> she was dying. But on the outside, she told Brendan, it's okay. That was not Rachel. It was, well, it was that pretty... That was like Luan. All right. It was pretty obvious when she told him to pick a snowball that she was pissed to hell. She was just like, Brandon! No, she was like, Brandon, go pick your snowball! Because <laughs> you suck. Yeah, so, uh, I don't know if you mentioned Danielle won. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it clear. So, Danielle tells Jordan after the competition, you and Jeff are safe this week. I just want you to know, you're like not my target. <laughs> And Jordan's like, what the hell are you talking about? Jordan's like, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> she goes and tells Jeff, and they're kind of, like, still not they're buying like, it. like, no. So they're chilling in the have-not room, and Brendan and Rachel stroll in. They're like, we went from the penthouse to the outhouse. Yeah, Jeff said that. It was, I can't tell if it, it was, was Jeff or Brendan. No, it was Jeff. It was a couples-only retreat. And, uh, yeah, they're all nervous. They're all crapping out bricks. So it's time to see Danielle's HOH room. All right, so Luan gets the HOH robe because he's apparently he's weeks. the only one who wants it. There was pics of baby Danielle, some of her grandma. I don't know what the hell's going on with her whole family dynamic because I think there's something fishy going on with the Let's grandma slash mom. Maybe she just doesn't want to be on the show. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, Dad's picture certainly was not there. All right, so Luan, he has a sweet talk with Shelly and Jordan. This is, oh, by the way. Yeah, I love this, um, where he tells a story about his grandma. I was like, boy, I knew you were gay. <laughs> it was pretty obvious to everyone except Luan. She was like, you go out there and you be the best black gay man you can be. Great advice. Yeah, but they didn't mention, I believe there was more to the story that the next day he left for college and his grandma actually died that day. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure. Unless I just made that up, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Wow. That is something. That's something. That probably is true. All right, so congratulations, Luan. At least someone in your family accepted you unconditionally. All right, so 
strategy talk, Jeff and Jordan went up to see Danielle in the HOH, and they're like, awkward. It was awkward, and Danny totally offers them a one-week deal, and they take it, because they're not stupid. They're not going to be like, no, even if they're not taking it. Yeah, put us up. We dare you. <laughs> All right, so Adam gets his elf suit, and it's quite a sight, because he's a chain smoker. I guess that's how he got that dumb voice. Kind of like that movie, Bad Santa, or something. Mm, kind of. Or like in Jingle All the Way when they're all in the factory. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, Rachel and Portia, this was kind of a throwaway <laughs> scene, were this jogging around the backyard while um, Jordan and Jeff were trying to talk. They kept cutting through. And then <laughs> Rachel wiped out. Oh my god, it was, I'm sorry, but. What is it about people just wiping about out? People it's just hurt. so, it's just so freaking funny. funny. Oh my god, it was classic, it was epic, it's gonna make the gag reel, I'm sure, for the rap party. It's great. Alright, so the treats this week seaweed and sardines. Thanks, America. Why was Rachel eating it? Did anybody I'm notice that? Sure and she was like, slop. <laughs> it was, I can make a really mean seaweed soup, so you would probably love it, guys. Alright. I'd be happy to get seaweed. So, Brendan and Rachel try to be like Jeff and Jordan, and they go upstairs to talk to Danny, but they take a different approach, and they try to kiss her ass. Yeah, and I don't think it works too well, even though Danny was all like, uh, yeah, it's it's not personal. I, I didn't, you know. She's like, I'm not really making deals with anyone right now, so like... <laughs> I don't know. Guys, do you have any clippers for my split ends? Because when I dye my hair this dark, there's some collateral damage. Yeah, so let's talk about nominations. Um, yeah. The couples are all crapping out of brick. And she, uh, the first key that she puts in the box is the elf, a.k.a. Adam, because she was afraid he would crap himself. Oh, you're so funny. Nah. I just did, like, a Chewbacca thing. I love that. <laughs> All right, so Brendan and Rachel are nominated. It's no secret they were going up. Come on, even my little two-year-old friend could have told you that. You have two-year-old friends? I do. Two-year-old um, friends or two-year-old friends? Two-year-old. Okay. <laughs> so, Danielle was freaking hyping up this speech forever. I really hope they left a lot of this on the editing room floor because this speech that they showed was crappy. It was really crappy. She was basically like, it's not personal. So I hope for her own sake that there was more that they didn't show. Uh, there probably was, but maybe they couldn't show it. I don't know. Maybe they just didn't want to because it was so stupid. Uh, Jeff's being worried. He's worried about being backdoored. I mean, that's always a possibility. Brendan vows to save his woman, Rachel. He will do whatever it takes. Hey, don't call my fiance an idiot. Yeah, Rachel was like, yeah, I'm going to fight. No one comes between me and my man. Actually, it was. <laughs> no one comes between me and my man. Okay, I'll give you that. And Danny thinks that she's the only one with enough balls to go after Brunchel. Oh Are you my joking? god. <laughs> this is so frustrating listening to her talk herself up all the time. I can't wait till she goes home because it's going to be even sweeter. Okay, kids, till next time. Much, Much love. love.